Welcome back to Yumper and Swole's 31 Days of Horror, presented to you by the Sadistic Penguin Studios. As horror fans, we pretty much know the vampire rules. Pass the test! Don't ever invite a vampire into your house, you silly boy. It renders you powerless. Did you know that? Of course. Everyone knows that. Today's film looks at those rules and tells a unique vampire tale. We are talking about the 2010 romantic horror film, Let Me In. The film is directed by Matt Reeves and is a remake of the 2008 Swedish film and book, Let the Right One In. It stars Cody Smith McPhee as Owen, Chloe Grace Moretz as Abby, Richard Jenkins as Thomas, and Elias Kotis as the detective. The film opens in 1983 in Los Olmos, New Mexico, with a disfigured man being rushed to the hospital. When he arrives and is placed in a room, a detective, played by Kotis, tries to question him about a series of murders that have been happening, but the man jumps out the window to his death. We then flash back two weeks earlier, where we find 12-year-old Owen, played by Smith McPhee, who is a shy, bullied kid. He has new neighbors, Abby, played by Moretz, and her father Thomas, played by Jenkins. Abby and Owen begin to bond, and Owen begins to develop a crush on Abby. The problem is, Abby is a lot older than what she portrays. What the hell is that? It's a fucking vest. I'm, I'm trying to look older. You look like Pinocchio. We find out Thomas is actually Abby's caretaker and has been since he was a child. He now finds victims to drain their blood and feed her. Moretz's performance as Abby is exceptional. Her character can be fragile and vulnerable, yet so vicious and terrifying. It's an awesome blend. The film is a romantic love story between Owen and Abby. You feel for Owen as he is an outcast, going through the pressures of life and wondering who he is and not having many friends. Also, as a viewer, you wonder, does Abby really care for Owen or even Thomas at that matter? Or is she trying to manipulate him? The film is very well done and tells a different aspect to the vampire love story. If you're a fan of vampire flicks, this one is right up your alley. One thing about living in Santa Carla, I never could stomach you. All the damn vampires. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.